we, we, we talk about, you know, just, just playing 40 minutes, right? And today was the first game where we, we played 40 minutes of our basketball from, from start to finish, just defending and rebounding and scrapping. You know, Holloway is, is, a, is a load underneath. And he's a, you know, he, he's probably one of the most physically imposing players in our league, if not the most physically imposing. And our guys battled him um, to the end. And, and I'm just proud that, that these guys got a chance to experience getting a, a win at home. Questions for Saul? A couple big threes down the stretch. You put them all up that you do. What's going through your mind with that? Uh, it's being confident the whole game. Uh, coaches trust me. Teammates trust me. It's going to have confidence. Uh, we just have some ready to knock down. Even when they're not going in for either team? Yeah, they're pretty good. So we strive on staying confident the whole game. Don't worry about losing. So what was your overall opinion of the defensive effort, especially with you not, you're not shooting a high percentage? How, how is that much of an effect did that have? Uh, definitely a big effect. Uh, we pride ourselves on playing defense when we look at the team in the league. Uh, they got great guards, and they did a really good job of stopping them and limiting them to their uh, shots today. So it was a big effect for us. So it's been a while since you guys played your last game. How's that time off uh, helped you and gotten you fresh again? Uh, great, great preparation. We just play every day. Playing hard every day, so I mean, it was a great preparation for the game. Anything else for Saul? Thanks, Saul. Okay. Ash, when, when both teams are just that cold, all day, what are you talking about? Keep shooting. You know, because t today was the first day where we didn't allow ourselves to. <coughs> Lose focus on the defensive end because the ball wasn't going in the basket. I think it's it's only it's human nature when you're when you're a player you get excited when you, when you see a ball go through the basket. It deflates you when you when you miss shot after shot after shot, right? And I, and that's happened to us in the past where we we have a little scoring drop. We've all seen it. We can go stretches where we don't score the ball, and then the other team if we have a lead they just start chipping away at it just because we kind of lose that fire on the defensive end. Well, today we kept that fire on the defensive end, even when we didn't make shots. And then we had a stretch where we hit a couple late, bang, 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 then we were able to, to, to uh, create some separation there at the end. Is that defensive effort the thing that stands out in your mind best about this game? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think we've been getting better defensively. We haven't had a 40-minute effort. I think we've had stretches where we've been unbelievable. I mean, we held GW to 14 points in the first half here. And then they scored like 60 in the second. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, and, and, and that may have been like the best 20 minute effort I saw. But today was the best 40 minute effort I saw. And, and, and all credit to UMass, like Pimpkins is, you know, you know, preseason, first team all league, great player, Holloway is, as tough a guy to guard in our league as you want to find inside. And I'm just proud that our guys were, were able to kind of battle it out, man, all the way to the end. Coach, um, Buki didn't shoot well tonight, but what has he given you? It's really the, the one senior in your rotation this year. And, and what have you seen from him? Any kind of growth this year? Um, Buki, it, it's, it's, a, it's a challenge for him because I'm asking him to believe in a culture that he's only going to be a part of for six months, you know? So the, the things that Pookie does, nobody will ever see. You know what I mean? He's the hardest working guy on our team. He's a gym rat. He's created the culture within our team of coming in and working out and working out. He pulls his teammates in the gym and gets shots up with him. You know what I mean? Like all those things. Like he's such a positive kid. Even when, when we were struggling early in the season, always upbeat, always positive, never holding his head, never um, defiant or going against the grain with, with what we're trying to build. And, and, and that's helped us to, to kind of make some strides here as the season's going on. Coach, you mentioned uh, Luan Pipkins just a few minutes ago. Um, we know how good of a scorer he is, and against you guys this year, he hasn't done a whole lot, especially not tonight. What's your guys' game plan to stop guys like him, specifically him? How do you shut him down? 
I mean, you, you don't shut him down because he, he's going to get attempts. You just try to make it hard for him, you know. And the one thing that he he's a really good three point shooter off the dribble and off the catch. So what you you want to try to do is you just want to try to just just shadow him all the time and just just stay on him. Try to keep a bigger defender on him as much as we can to make to make his shots a little bit a little bit more challenging. But you know he, he's a really good player and. You know, if we played again tomorrow, he, he could erupt against us. You know what I mean? So um, I don't I don't know if it's as much of what we did, or is it you know just him just being in a little bit of a slump and you know just needing to, to figure his way out of it. Will you help me watch the fourteen? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't because he's a he's a talented player, man. Like he he you know he, he gets fouled. Like he was six for six from the foul line. Like that's what makes him good. Like he knows. How to score? Like he's a scorer. He was. Uh, I watched him a lot in high school because he and Jalen Brunson were AAU teammates. So like, like I, was, I watched this dude. That dude is an explosive scorer, and he knows how to play, and he makes his teammates better. Like so, the last game like, uh, they played against URI, he didn't score a lot of points. But he had nine assists. So I think we did a, a, a good job of you know both limiting you know his 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 clean looks. And then also staying at home on the other guys. We didn't we didn't let guys like Pierre get off. Pierre has six threes in the last game. I thought we did a good job on him because he's been a guy that's been an X factor for him when when Pimpkins and, and Holloway you know haven't haven't scored a lot. Anything else for coach? Coach, the the big men rotation. Do you just kind of go with who the hot hand is at that moment? I know Ed played great tonight, but we didn't see a whole lot of Miles and uh, limited for Jared to. I, I just felt like today, Eddie battled underneath. He had 11 rebounds, and that's what we needed. I mean, they 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 had 24 offensive rebounds, and and they and they out rebounded us by 18, and they had 18 more field goal attempts than we did. And I just felt like Eddie was the one guy out there that was just battling. Right. So it was just my gut today that I thought Eddie was was, was a better fit.